All right, my math party people, welcome back to another round here. So in the previous video, the guided practice that we did, we looked at two-step order of operations. Now we're gonna look at three-step order of operations. And I'm gonna show you that no matter how many steps, it's still the same exact idea. Follow your order of operations, look at what you got going on, look at the first step, second step, and just do it with calm, cool, and collected attitude. And the more you practice, the faster you'll get naturally. So as a reminder, remember, stay to the end here because I'm gonna show you two different types of problems in this one video. Then after this, you'll have the worksheet to work on with those speed drills. And remember, those speed drills, those are the best thing to come since sliced bread because you get to practice new problems over and over and over again being timed. That way you can feel that pressure of the test now. So that's way, that way it's not a new feeling later on when you take the test. I want you to go in there confident and this is what we have to do now to make sure we get it done. So with that said, again, if you're not in the course and if you're watching this on YouTube or something, check the description of this video or reach out to me. I got your back. But let's go ahead and get it done here, my party people. Here's the first question. Let's evaluate this. I'm going to go through five questions of um, where we have it of this type. Then I'll go over the other five questions where we have fractions uh, shown in there. Here we go. Negative 1 plus 8 plus 2 all times 2. So this parentheses is what I'm going to take care of first. So then after that parentheses, then I'll go ahead and multiply whatever I get by 2. So negative 1 plus 8, remember my party people, that's the same thing as saying 8 minus 1. So we have 7 still plus that 2 times 2. So 7 plus 2, what's that going to be? 9. And 9 times 2, that's going to be 18. We have to be that confident and quick with it. We have to. Let's go ahead and get into number 2 here. Number 2, we have 1 plus negative 1 plus 8 plus 2. Well, if I'm checking this out, my party people, instantly 1 plus negative 1. Adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. So 1 plus negative 1 is 1 minus 1. And that becomes 0. This actually cancels out. So we're just left with 8 plus 2. That's 10. And we're good. Let's keep it going here. And what I expect you to do is pause the video before I actually do a problem like this. That way you can try it out yourself and then see any which way you can do it better or any mistakes that you made to clarify it. So here we go. Parentheses first, as always. We're going to take this parentheses, then we'll go ahead and divide, and then we'll multiply at the end. Remember, when it comes to multiplication and division, it's whichever comes first. Biggest mistake that people make is thinking that they have to do multiplication first and then the division. No, it's whichever one comes first. So take care of the parentheses first, as always. 1 minus negative 3. When you subtract a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. So 1 minus negative 3 is 1 plus 3, and that is 4. So we have ourselves 4 over here, divided by 4 times negative 9. 4 divided by 4 right over here becomes 1, and 1 times negative 9 becomes negative 9. Just like that. Just like that. Let's get into this next one, my party people. So again, you may be looking at this number 4, and you may be thinking, oh, whoa, 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 we got to multiply first. Be very, very careful, my party people. No. We see that there's division right there and multiplication right there in addition there. We're going to look at division and multiplication. And remember, it's whichever one comes first. Negative 27 divided by negative 3 comes first. So negative 27 divided by negative 3. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, And 27 divided by 3 is 9. So now we have 9 times 5 plus 4. So here, 9 times 5, that's going to give us 45. 45 plus 4 equals 49. And that is C. Just like that. Let's keep it going, my party people. We got this. Let's go and check out another one here. Let's go ahead and take a look at something a little more ridiculous. So let's see if we can find something a little more ridiculous here. Let's take a look at something like this. Let's go and try this one out over here. So we have negative 7 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of our parentheses over here, take care of the parentheses over there, and then just divide those results nice and easy. So negative 7 plus 2. Remember that negative 7 plus 2, a negative plus a positive. Same thing as just subtracting those numbers and keeping the sign of the bigger number. So negative 7 plus 2 is the same as 7 minus 2, which is 5, but it'll be negative 5 because that 7 was bigger, and that's negative. So bam, negative 5 over here, and then 4 plus 1 is 5. Negative 5 divided by 5, that's going to be negative 1, and that's C. Let's keep it going. We'll do a couple more, and then we're going to go into the one with fractions involved. So let's try this last one out, my party people. Again, you may be looking at this and you may be thinking, yeah, let's do this first and then I'll multiply. No, 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 no. 
Remember with order of operations, multiplication and division, it's whichever comes first. Same thing with addition and subtraction. Keep that in mind so you don't make that mistake. So with that said, my party people, here we go. We'll have negative 21 divided by the negative one plus four is the same as four minus one. It's the same thing. And so four minus one will end up being three. And then we multiply the rest by nine. Let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math. So why not join me? Click the link right here. That way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. So again, division comes first. So this is what you'll do first. Negative 21 divided by three is negative seven. And then you still have that times nine, which will give you negative 63. Booyah. And so with that seven math part, people, there's that. I'm gonna skip on over into the other part here where we're gonna do five more problems when it comes to fractions now. So let's go ahead and take care of these and let's see the problems where we have fractions involved like this. Again, order of operations is way too important, so make sure you're watching up to this point. I gotcha. So we have negative all of that, wow. So here's the trick, my part of people. Remember that fractions is basically saying, hey, we have your numerator divided by your denominator. And what you can think of is you have your denominator here in a parentheses. So make sure to do everything in a group, right? Every, everything in the parentheses. The numerator and denominator are each their own group. You wanna think of it that way because it's truly how it works. Again, the numerator and denominator are each their own group. So that denominator right over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work on this here, negative, then you have the 28 up top. And in the denominator, you're gonna have 10 minus seven, which is gonna be three. And then three minus negative one, that's the same thing as saying three plus one, and that's four. So this entire denominator turns into four. 28 divided by four is seven. And since you have a negative in front of it, that's gonna be negative seven. Not terrible, right? Again, just remember, a numerator and denominator are each their own group, that's it. So let's take care of here, 54. So what this means is, again, this up here is its own group, and this down here is its own group. Treat them like their own group, and you'll be, you'll be fine. You'll absolutely be fine. So this equals, don't forget that negative right there, it's sneaky. And then 28 times two, do that with mental math, that's 56. Four plus three, that's gonna be seven. So what's negative 56 divided by seven? That'll be negative eight. And so we have to know our mental math here to get this done fairly quickly. Let's take a look at another example. We got this. Oh, this one looks pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and try it out. So first things first, I see that we have a division right here. That's a fraction. Remember, fractions are division. So 24 divided by negative three, that'll be negative eight. Bring everything else along. Minus eight minus negative 10. So from here, we see that we have negative eight minus eight. And when you're already negative and you're subtracting, you're getting more negative. So going back eight, then back eight again, that's gonna be negative 16. Negative 16 minus negative 10. Remember that when you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So that becomes negative 16 plus 10. And so negative 16 plus 10, that's the same thing as saying, hey, we have a negative plus a positive. So just subtract the numbers and then keep the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is the 16, so the answer is gonna be negative, and 16 minus 10 is six. Negative six, and that's choice D right there. Let's keep it going, my party people. We got this, we got this, we got this. Let's look at the ones with fractions here involved. Let's look at this one. This one looks pretty crazy as well. So, we're gonna take care of the group, the parentheses first. Right over here, take care of the group first. So we have ourselves negative three minus uh, minus seven over negative one. Seven divided by negative one, let's take care of that first right there. Seven divided by negative one is what? Well, that's gonna be negative seven. So be careful, because you already have a minus right there, and that's right here. Seven divided by negative one, again, is negative seven, so we'll write negative seven. And recall that if you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. So this ends up becoming negative 10 times negative three plus seven. And if you remember, negative three plus seven is the same as seven minus three. Same exact idea. And seven minus three is four. So this becomes negative 10 times positive four. 
a negative 10 times positive 4 gives you a negative 40. And the answer here will be D, negative 40. So excuse me for making, uh, making that out of view, but let's go ahead and take care of another one here. So let's keep looking for more fraction problems where we can find them. So over here, number 63. So here's what you'll do. Remember, the entire numerator is its own group and the denominator is its own group. You're basically dividing the entire numerator by the entire denominator. And there's two ways to take care of this problem. One is gonna be, again, to multiply everything up top together. Seven times two is 14, times two will be 28. And then you have that divided by negative seven. And 28 divided by negative seven, a positive divided by a negative is a negative. 28 divided by seven is four. So you can get C, but watch this. Here's another way to do it. If we take a look, Notice how we're multiplying everything together in the numerator. So remember, when you're multiplying everything together, multiplication and division, those are opposite operations. So if I'm multiplying by seven and dividing by seven, I can actually cancel those out. And it looks like all I have left is two times two with a negative. Two times two is four, and with a negative, that's negative four. So you can simplify here, you can simplify the fraction if you wanted to, because again, we're only multiplying on the numerator and the denominator, so you can cancel out with the numerator and denominator. Going through a couple more here, we have negative and then we have 30 over negative 10, minus eight plus eight. I can already look at the denominator right now and I can look at this and say, hey, a negative eight plus eight, that's gonna cancel out. You're doing opposite operations right there next to each other, those are gonna cancel out. There's nothing stopping me from canceling. And so essentially what we have is the negative in front the 30 divided by the negative 10. So 30 divided by negative 10, that right here, that's gonna be negative three. So we have negative, negative three. Negative, negative three is a positive three, and that's why C is the answer. Let's keep it going here, my party people. Let's do one more and we are set. Ooh, I like this one. This one looks pretty tough. Let's get take care of business here. So remember, we're gonna take care of the entire denominator first. We have to take care of the groups first. So I see right here, we have a group inside of that group to take care of, negative 10 minus one. So a negative 10 minus one becomes negative 11. So we're gonna have 14 in the numerator, then we have negative four minus, and that's gonna be negative 11. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. So from here, what do we do? Well, we have ourselves minus negative 11. So what this is gonna turn into my party people is we're gonna have over here 14 up top and then we have negative four minus negative 11, minus a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So we have negative four plus 11 in the denominator and negative four plus 11, that's gonna end up being positive seven because negative four plus 11 is the same thing as 11 minus four. 11 minus four is again, seven. And so we have negative 14 over seven, which becomes negative two. And that's why A is the answer. And so my math part of people, Look at all this that we've just done. We've done quite a few problems here, but at the end of the day, remember that order of operations is order of operations. We're going through three steps here with order of operations, and up next you'll do those worksheets and you'll do those speed drills. But after that, we're gonna get into multi-step order of operations where we have four, five, six, seven steps and more. And I'm really excited for that because that's gonna be the ultimate test of you being completely comfortable with the order of operations, knowing exactly what to do every single time. And so again, I'm Anderson, I'm your math coach as always. Let's go ahead, move forward the right way. Practice, 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 and reach out if you have any questions. You know I got your back. I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Let's get cracking. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.